The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. Story takes place in Eretz Yisrael. She was an irreligious woman. She was on her way to become a Baalist Tshuva. She came connected to a rabbi who was teaching her about Yiddishkeit. One day, after one of the sessions, the woman approached the rabbi and says, I'm not going to continue with this. The rabbi looks at her and says, why not? You've you come so far. Why are you stopping now? She says, I'll tell you the truth. I'm pregnant, and I want to abort the pregnancy. So I'm going to now stop my pregnancy. The rabbi looks at her and says, why are you doing that? She responded, because I am going to start a career. And this pregnancy is going to get in the way of my career. The rabbi looks at her and says, what does your husband have to say about this? He stands by my decision. The rabbi's thinking to himself, this is way above my pay grade. He had an idea. He says, you know something? It's very dangerous to have an abortion. And I want you to do it safely. It's very wise to go to a great tzaddik and receive his blessings in order for this abortion to go through safely. Would you join me? She said, sure. We're going to go to Rav Shlomo Zalman Orbach, the Godol Hadar, the Paisik Hadar. The rabbi, together with this woman, goes to Rav Shlomo Zalman Orbach. And Rav Shlomo Zalman Orbach asks her, why do you want to abort this baby? She says, because I'm embarking on a new career, and this pregnancy and this baby is interfering. Shlomo Zaman says, what career are you taking on? She says, I want to become a doctor. She says, a doctor? That's a wonderful thing. Why do you want to become a doctor? Because doctors save lives. Shlomo Zaman looks at her and says, what's so important about saving lives? She looked at him. What's so important about saving lives? And then the light bulb went on. She looks down at her abdomen and she says, Rabbi, are you talking about my baby? He says, yeah. If lives are so important for you to become a doctor, how about your own child? And she says, you know something, you're right. And she did not abort the baby. She heard a message. She internalized it. And she was receptive. That's a message. During the last two years, Hashem has sent the world global messages. He hasn't been sending messages just isolated, just to individuals, which we get all the time. Every person knows the messages that they're receiving. But the messages that Hashem has been giving us is global. Corona, Meron, Surfside, Chaim Walder. Four major incidences have occurred in our world. Hashem is blowing the shoifer. When Hashem, when we blow the shoifer, stepped up to the plate in the last two years, and said, I hear, I hear, I hear, I listen. Hashem speaking to me. I'm changing. I'm coming closer to God. I want to change. We don't have to become a ger. We're yidin. But we all have to change. We all have to become better. Are we? Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire dot org